guys, this is Quilchon, and welcome back to another video. As you can tell, this is Fallout Shelter, um, but that's not what this video is about. So, if you don't know, I, as a church-going girl, have been since I was knee-high to a grasshopper. Um, I don't know. So, if you don't already know, um, I have moved to Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, and I moved there. I moved, sorry, I moved here a little bit ago. Um, and I... That's a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Um, but basically, I have been. Um, well. Okay, I've been here for a hot minute. I've been here for a hot minute, and so, in saying that, like. It's a little different than Texas. The fancy tea hops. Oh, what am I doing? I don't need you to go anywhere. Unless I do. Let's see. Don't like working. You still like working where you're at at the moment, for the moment, to the moment. But like. Ah, no, you can stay back. Stop. Where are you going, kid? Yes, you. Can I move you? Well, well. But, like, um. Let me get a little, a little serious here for just a second. Like, okay, so. Basically, there's this lady at church in which. I, I like this person a lot. They. They've been my friend for quite a while. Quite, quite a while. And so, you know, in thinking, well, this lady has been my friend for quite a while. She's a little on the elderly side. You know, I don't make friends my age. So, um, she's one of those people that likes to buy all the kids snacks, you know, yeah, so, um, last Sunday I went to church and, I don't know, I was just going to church, you know, like a normal, like a normal person, you know, I was going to church, you know, and then, like, while I was going, like, after, actually, you know what, skip ahead, after church, um, I was, I was just walking around, you know, waiting for my peoples to, say, leave the church so we can get in the car and go home. And she comes up to me and she says, and I quote, I kid you not, she says, she points to my sister and says, that's my new baby. I said, okay. And she said to me that I have to humble myself down to her, humble myself down to be back in good favor with her. And I'm sitting and I'm thinking, the holy heck, I have to humble myself down to you? And then I think back and I'm like, when have I not been humble? When have I not been appreciative? 
I literally say thank you. I don't ask you for things. I don't. I don't ask her for things. She only just gives them to me, but I say thank you because it's courteous. Why so long? How much do you have? But I'm usually super, super courteous. And I always oh, so, yeah, courteous, super polite. I, I don't think there has been a time in my life where I have ever been not humble. <clears throat> you might say, oh, Quills, you're just making a big deal about nothing. And Quills, you're... No one's ever really that humble. But I'm the type of person who doesn't expect anything in life, ever. I don't expect for people to like me, ever. I don't expect, like, anything ever okay I asked for something once maybe twice maybe three times and if you say yeah we'll get it eventually I will sit there and I will wait I have been waiting on a pair of friendly boots for the last four years they're still on the market they got but I have been Looking at the pair of boots for the past four years. I haven't said anything about them. Ever. Okay. Um. Last year, at my birthday party. With all my friends. One of my besties. <sighs> Go check her out. Her name is... Actually, I don't remember her Instagram account, so I'm not going to do that. But she's a really cool person, and she literally... Okay, so I told everyone who was coming to my party, do not give me money, please. And she decided great idea was to give me money and so she did she gave me money and I was like take it back I don't I don't want it I don't I don't need it and basically what she told me was that's too bad keep it I was like I was like why and she was like because you're an amazing person. I was like, that doesn't mean you have to give me money. She's like, I didn't have to, I just decided I was gonna give you money. Different. I said truth. So she did that. And I was Ugh, I don't know how to feel because I feel like giving money out of your own pocket is too is too much for any person to do. I don't know, I just... Okay, it's fine if you do it, but I'm, I'm not the person that's like, oh yay, I want money for my birthday, because money is cool. No, I, I don't want, like, I don't want any like money for my birthday. I don't want any. I don't really like getting money. Um, not even joking. Um, I had a. What was it called? So there was this event I got to go to in school. It's um, UIL. UIL. 
Let's see. Something. Something. It's something for fine arts. And um, it happens in Texas. I don't know where else it happens, but I know it happens in Texas. And so my mom was like, okay, I don't have any loose money for you, so here have my entire credit card. She's like, you can spend up to $40 on it. On the trip, I spent exactly $7.42. Yep, $7.42. That was super expensive for me. Like, I gave my mom the receipt and everything. Like, I'm not one of the people that is going to spend the amount of money that you tell me I can spend. I'm not. It's just, mm. ah, that's... I don't know. It, it's too... It's too much to be like, like it's, it's not... It's not like... <laughs> it's a concept that I can't grasp. I can't grasp, like... The point of... Just feeling like everything is supposed to be given to you. I know a lot of people have that mentality. I don't. I'm not one of the people who's like, oh, well, you know, everything in life is mine, so I'm gonna have it. People are gonna give it to me because I'm that awesome. Everything I have, I'm grateful for. And I don't think that I could be any less grateful than So, it's weird to think. It's weird to me to think that, like, It's a thing to do that, to, to believe that everything is yours just because like that's not a that's not a thing that I can comprehend. It's not cool. Oops, happiness is dropping. Kind of like me. Um, but I will say this. Like, there are a few, like, things in my life that I know that I can be a little bit not humble about. Like, My cooking skills, mainly because well, it's something that I do on a daily, and no one's like, "Oh, who taught you how to cook?" Although I'm very grateful for my mother and father teaching me how to cook. She also said to me that she doesn't like people who are smarter than her. So, um, mind you, I haven't said much about anything to be relatively smart. Um, I help in the church. I take care of some babies. Um, I love babies. They don't talk back to me. 
to where I can understand them. So it's like, hey, look at that. They're not trying to scream and yell at me because I'm stupid. But like, I don't know. It's kind of difficult in thinking, well, yo, you just did a great thing. You just, you just helped people out. Cause that particular Sunday, um, there's a woman that takes care of the pianist's baby whenever, um, every Sunday morning. And she wasn't there, but her children were taking care of the baby and they didn't know how to do some things. And I was helping out and I felt really good. And I didn't want to overstep my boundaries because I know that she doesn't like her baby being touched by a lot of people. So I did what I could and I might have overstepped my bounds. But I I said to her very respectfully, I was like, sis. I would I helped out just a little bit. And I made the bottle for them. And I helped with spit up. I hope I wasn't overstepping my bounds. She didn't say that I was overstepping my bounds. She didn't think that I got smart with her or anything like that. She was just like, thanks for helping out. You did a good thing. Keep up the good work. And don't forget to come to choir rehearsal. Like, okay, and quiet in like church I don't play I don't sing. No. You, I play my viola. But also like there is a certain thing that happens. Like you're you have a you have a level of humbleness and you have a level of like honor and respect right and so like I respect I respect everyone in the church obviously and I respect But, um, I respect everyone in the sense that they know exactly what they're doing. I just like to help out because I have nothing else better to do. I literally sit at home 24-7-ish doing absolutely nothing. I'll try and come up with YouTube ideas. They don't work out because I realize I don't have a camera that works. Two, I I don't have beauty lights. I have one little light that lights my entire room-ish. Technically I have two because I have one in my closet. I'm grateful for that, but also it's difficult not being able to do something. Not being able to help out. <clears throat> but like, it's difficult when you're trying to be a kind, caring, courteous person. Oh shoot, did he die? Oh um, shoot. Come 
mind boggling. How, how difficult people can be. How difficult things are for one person. To where they're found to be. Oh. Where they're found to be not humble. Because they barely say something. I am not good at this game. But like that 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 baffles me because I don't have Shiz to, to. Oh, frick. So I don't have shiz to work with, I don't have shiz to do. Um. My mobob. Like all of, I don't know, all of this. It it just might be because of my, you know, very intelligent human being. Oh. Because I am that way, but like. Whenever she told me this, um, I immediately went into a manic depressive state. It was very... Well, person that I, that I like a lot, that I look up to, does not see me as adequate. So I, I must... I must for sure take action upon my life and make sure that I do not live. Now most of you guys are probably like, oh that's 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 just Quill being funny, but that's Quill's entire life. She's always been that way. She's always been if somebody doesn't like me. That means there's something wrong with me. So I immediately go to the absolute ex-crawling stream and think that death is the proper way to But like... I've only told a couple of people about my very thick, manic depressive state of mind. So like, hearing that gives me a clear reason, gives other people a clear reason of why I hate people, people suck, but, as in B-U-T-T. People suck booty. Absolute booty. Here's why. They think... They think that they're doing you a favor when they decide to drop a hint, like... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, uh... Just, just so you know, I just like your personality because you're a little too confident. For my taste. So, could you just like, I don't know, not? Could you just not, you know, be you? Could you be some shy, timid girl from like your younger years? Thanks, that'd be great. Um, also, um, while you're at it, while you're at it, 
dumb yourself down by a lot. Yes. There we go. That's how I want it. People are so stupid. They might be smiling and happy on the outside, but Lord, Lord knows I am not that way on the freaking inside. I am insane. I, I can't, I can't even like live. A very good, happy, respectful life. What is happening back there? What? What? What are doing? Can someone tell me what's happening back there in the comments? I've just been like going on for like <coughs> <coughs> the entirety of this video. But I cannot physically understand the principle of telling someone that their sister, their sister, is quote-unquote better than them in any way, shape, or form. I can't just- can you- can you even justify why that would be okay to say to anyone? Oh, your sister's better than you, by the way. And here's why. You're not as quote-unquote humble as she is. You're also- you also act too smart. You're also too nice. Apparently. Yeah! That's pretty much how it has gone. That's pretty much the entire conversation. I just said, okay, okay. And in the back of my mind I was like, okay, and? Your point? But then again, the rest of my mind started to take over and it was like, no one likes you, uh-uh, she's telling you everything everyone else wants to say. So when a person that I've known, that you've known, that anyone has known for a really long time decides to put them down, push you down, put me down, put anyone down. They decide, <clears throat> oh yeah, it's a really good time to say, oh, by the way, you're not adequate enough to be in my friend circle. And when it can move your state of mind from, I'm doing better, back down to sinking down into deep, dark, depressive thoughts. That's giving a person way too much power. I give that lady way too much power. And here's why I did it. I thought she was my friend. I thought she was a person who would be nice to me. Nicer than anyone. But no. She brought me down. She made me hurt. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I know this is a really long video. I know I was not expecting it to go on this long. And I'm pretty sure you guys were expecting an actual Fallout review. Because of the thumbnail that might be put up. <clears throat> but that's not what went on. I decided I need to get this off my chest because I didn't talk to my mom about it. I talked to my boyfriend about it. I mean, he's really good to talk to. He's great. But I don't know. I just need to say it again. Because I wanted to make sure that that's what came out of her mouth. That's what I remember. Today I'm going to choir practice. I'm being there. I'm gonna be the best person I can possibly be because that's just how awesome I am. Quilt on out. Bye. Love you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like this video or want to see more of these videos. Also, don't forget to hit that notification button to be notified whenever I upload, whenever the heck that will be. And don't forget to drop a like.
and drop a comment. Bye! Love you.